All right. Good afternoon, everyone. This is Jamin from E27. We will be starting our demo day uh, now. So welcome to our first demo day, and this is about the Innovation Spotlight. So this demo day is held in line with the current program we are running for the Kazakhstan government, the Nur Sultan Nazarbayev Foundation, under the Smart Zoli program. The focus of this program is to expose the startups to corporate innovation and provide an opportunity for potential collaborations and co-creation of solutions. So let's get to hear more about the journey of these startups from Christine, project lead from E27. So Christine, please. Hi everyone. Welcome to the Smart Zole virtual demo day. We started this journey and onboarded 15 startups in the beginning of April under the Smart Zole program. We work with Nur Sultan Nazarbayev Foundation to kickstart this unique opportunity for Kazakhstan startups and talented IT specialists to create digital projects in partnerships with the world's largest corporations and enter the greater markets of Asia. The program is actually divided into three phases. First is to prepare, wherein we spoke to corporates within the region to identify their business challenge statements and discovered how these startups could provide the necessary solutions to those challenges. And then the second phase is actually to build. And as part of this phase, we worked with key stakeholders in the region and partnered with them to provide learning and content mentorship and gave them the chance for the startups to learn more about the Southeast Asian market. We also cover the basics to support the development of solutions for the corporates. The third and the final phase is the showcase, wherein now we are in the last phase actually, and the showcase is divided into two categories. One is to present solutions and receive feedback from corporates, which is gonna happen within the month of August. The second category is this virtual demo day that we have right now, wherein seven out of the 15 startups are showcasing their solutions to the public to gain more visibility and, expo and explore more opportunities with the corporates, investors, and strategic partners. Let me also take this opportunity to thank the hardworking team at E27, Destin for leading the Corporate Innovation Program, Jimin, Nina, Bocheng, Vinci for organizing all the learning and content, and Rashid, who will be speaking later as well as the program director of Smart Zoli and for his passion in the startup ecosystem. It has not been an easy journey for these startups considering the current pandemic situation, but this is what E27 is for, to strive to provide equal opportunities for startups to grow and scale their businesses. This demo day is to conclude the Smart Zoli program but let me also remind the 15 startups we onboarded in this program that this is not an end, but this is the beginning of more fruitful opportunities for each and every one of you. On behalf of the E27 family, we wishing you all success. Back to you, Jimin. Thank you, Christine. So before we hear from the startups, Christine, you have mentioned that uh, there are two main sectors that have contributed to the success of this program. So we'd like to use this time to show our appreciation to these two groups of people. First off, the participating corporates who had taken time off the schedules to work with the startups on their problem statements and provided feedback in the form of mentorship to help the startups improve from there on. So a huge shout out to our corporate partners who have supported us in our program. Cyril and Roger from Airbus and Taiko San from DMP. Thank you for your guidance and time. Next. To our distinguished speakers who delivered the learning content to the startups to help them understand the sea markets better and also the expectations set on, set on them when they enter into partnerships for co-creation of solutions. This learning component along with the main corporate innovation program equip the startups with the much needed insights as they gear up to launch into the sea region. So we'd like to give special thanks to Wei Sheng from Cargo, Chen Wei from Accenture Ventures, Wayne, representing Access to Tokyo, Singapore, Roger from Airbus, Yogi Indran from Enterprise Singapore, and Megan from A6 Links. Thank you, mentors, for sharing uh, your valuable knowledge with the participating startups. So moving on to the main agenda for today, 
we'll be hearing from seven aspiring entrepreneurs whose business model will cover a wide range of verticals and industries. We have today with us solutions for HR tech, ad tech, med tech, and general software builders. I hope you are excited as I am to hear from these startups and what they have to offer for us. After the sound pitches, there'll be a segment for Q&A, so feel free to input any questions you might have in the Q&A widget at any one point in time. And the founders themselves will be glad to answer them at the end of the pitching session. So before we begin our demo day, allow me to invite Rashid, Program Director for Smart Zoli Program, to say a few words open today's event. So Rashid, please. Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to the demo day of Smart Zoli Program. I am Rashid. Uh, I am Director of this program. This program uh, is supported by Nusultan Nazarbayev Foundation. The main goal of the program is to give uh, market access opportunities for Kazakh startups to scale up in Southeast Asia via Singapore. So uh, with the help of our friends from E27, we conduct this program for consequently for four years. Uh, usually our startups uh, have pitches uh, in demo day during National and Asia Summit, but today during the pandemic, we uh, have the first uh, virtual demo day. So thank you for attending it. Uh, so briefly, uh, we this year we have two streams in our program. So as Christine uh, already said, the first stream that you will have, uh, you will see today presentation, it's a stream of uh, startups with uh, prospective existing solutions. So, and today you will have opportunity to, to see it. And the second stream is a talented IT specialist that uh, tried to build uh, some new solutions from scratch uh, on problem statements from uh, corporate partners. So, thank you again. Thank you for attending. Thank you for our friend, friends from E27. And uh, okay, we can start. Thank you, Rashid, for the introduction and opening today's demo session. So before I introduce uh, each individual startups, uh, perhaps I can get the startups here to say hi to our audience here for today. Let's start with uh, Clockster. Dijon, would you like to say hi? One moment, just a second, guys. Hello, guys. It's a pleasure being here. Thank you for the invitation. Thank you for giving a chance to participate in uh, such a great program. So hope uh, we'll be able to uh, to pitch certain uh, partners uh, to be able to uh, deliver our product overseas uh, towards Southeast Asian market. So thank you so much. Yeah. So uh, that's Yejin, and Yejin presenting first today will be Yejin, so founder of Clockster. So Clockster is a HR tech solution with additional features of access control, all an all-encompassing system for employee management. In fact, Yeojin will show us how Clockster stands out from the rest of the competition and positions itself as a HRM system. So without further ado, let's watch it from Yeojin. Hello, my name is Yerjan. Clockster is a HR system with the access control tools together. So the problems right now we have, uh, uh, the, the client's problems right now are the, first of all, uh, the transparency of the attendance. Like people uh, come uh, too late to the offices, uh, like they uh, pay the salaries inefficiently. And at the same time, usually those companies who uh, sit in the business centers, uh, they want to have integrated system uh, together with the access control and the turnstiles with the, which they have uh, at the entrance. So we are the, the solution which uh, combined two systems into one, like HR tools plus access control system altogether. The main problems for the access control is the security and transparency. Uh, like companies who use RFID cards identifications, usually it leads to several security issues, like can be lost, forgotten at home, passed to third person, and uh, usually causes the data transparency concerns. Uh, also, these systems are uh, usually very obsolete, like in order to get uh, reports, you have to uh, contact your administration uh, of the business center and ask them to uh, generate the report, then it uh, takes too much time because of the bureaucracy, especially when you want to add a new person uh, 
let's say to the to the business center like uh, to, to provide him an access that is also a problem also another problem is the pricing like for the high-end uh, access control systems with the face ID let's say it costs you usually a lot of money and plus uh, they don't provide you the HR tools altogether the solution is the cloud-based uh, application together with mobile plus uh, latest face recognition system so we like uh, provide combined solution like HRM and access control. Uh, HRM consists of time and attendance, leave management, general request management, schedule automation, payroll, document management, e-signature, employees handbook. And access control has features like uh, biometric identification with face ID, <clears throat> access permission management, guest management, mobile app access management, and in integration with various biometric devices. And by the way, yes, uh, we can integrate the system uh, to any uh, turnstiles, like if business centers already have uh, uh, turnstiles, we can just integrate uh, with that. So the results, uh, first of all, is the growth of the productivity and performance, like from 10 to 25 percent. Also, it leads to 5, 15% uh, reduction of the workforce expenses, 10 to 10, uh, 2 to 10 percent reduction of losses on inefficient work performance, and grows up to 90% of time and attendance accuracy. Uh, if we talk about access, uh, access control, uh, we provide a, uh, a better access, access transparency, like with the biometrics and anti-spoofing, we give 99.9% uh, .9 recognition accuracy. Also, like we help to cut the maintenance costs, like uh, you don't need to buy uh, proximity cards, you don't need to buy extra hardware, like no installation, uh, like no, no special in installations, cabling, etc. Uh, also, uh, for the end clients, we provide uh, staff management uh, from remote places, like let's say if you went for a business trip, you can from mobile phone check uh, the attendance, see who is at the building, also grant the access to the building. You can register a new guest, like let's say, and give him limited uh, time frames to uh, enter the building. So what makes us unique, as I mentioned previously, is that we don't uh, provide only access control or only HR tools. We provide kind of a combined uh, system altogether. And also for HR tools, we are uh, one of the first companies who are making uh, automatic document creation tool. Let's say you send a request for the a uh, business trip or like a uh, day off or the sick leave, the document will be prepared automatically. I mean, the consents, resolutions, etc., whatever is required. Also the scheduling tool. Now, for instance, uh, like if previously your administrator spent a lot of time creating schedules, now your uh, employees will create uh, schedules from mobile app and send it to the line manager. Line manager just needs to review it and accept it if, uh, if, he, if he accepts this. <clears throat> If we talk about the access control system, uh, we have a possibility to integrate with wide wide range of access control devices. Like uh, right now, we are uh, integrating the system with ZKTECO, Huafan, and integer companies. All of them actually Chinese based, uh, but we can we can like uh, uh, integrate with any other brands also. Also, we have a mobile uh, access management. Like as I mentioned previously, you can grant access just through your mobile app and also check the attendance. The admin tools. Now, uh, guests can easily submit the request for access and get approvals instantly. So uh, any person only needs to fill out the form and take a selfie and they don't need to go to the reception desk or the security guard to ask for the permission to enter the building. The clients. If we talk about only HR management system, then uh, we can sell it as a time and attendance tool to restaurants, cafe, bars, supermarkets, private clinics, etc. The companies, uh, the, which are the service related companies concerned about staff efficiency. If we talk about HRM plus access control, then we talk about big corporates like business centers, uh, like corporates, by the way, with existing access control systems. So we can just replace the, the existing modules, uh, these RFID readers and install our own face ID uh, devices and that's it, it can work. Schools and universities. Right now, we sell our products in Russia, in Kazakhstan, Ukraine, and just recently started in Philippines. Our plan is by the end of this year to start sales in Malaysia and Indonesia. The business model, like if we talk about only HRM system for small and medium enterprises, then our subscription starts from $5 a month per five employees up to $300 per 1,000 employees. And after 1,000 employees, we just calculate individually. 
Uh, business model number two, HRM plus access control. It starts from $100 a month per 30 users. And after 30 users, like each user will cost you $3 a month. And of course the hardware we sell uh, separately. Business model number three, the special offer for the business centers. By the way, this is a very unique uh, business model. Like we uh, propose to business centers uh, our hardware for free. Like we install it. Uh, and But uh, in return, we ask them to help us to uh, uh, sell on subscription basis our software to the tenants. And out of that, 30% of commission will go to the business center. So it's kind of a win-win-win situation for all of them. So the end clients will receive uh, a high-end face, uh, face ID access control system with the HRM tools. A business center will have, uh, <clears throat> will modernize their business centers as well as receive commission. And for us, we will have a constant business like with a lot of uh, uh, subscribers like just within one building. Like our positioning among competitors, like uh, here I, uh, as an example, I uh, showcased <coughs> uh, HR systems who more or less have certain uh, uh, integrations with the access control systems. So like we have a pretty advanced uh, features, uh, but at the same time, we are much more lower in price uh, in comparison to uh, our competitors right now. Uh, so here's the same situation about the, the, the Chinese products. If we talk about only hardware, uh, not only about the access control systems. So achievements so far. Right now we have, we reached 11,000 MRR, uh, which is 160 plus clients in five countries right now. Uh, 440,000 investments we raised recently. If we talk only about HRM plus access control, uh, by the way, now it's not $2,000 monthly MRR uh, from uh, access control, but uh, 4,000 because recently we signed three more clients in Kazakhstan. And we started uh, the pilot with the business center landlord uh, with 22 buildings within Kazakhstan with uh, one and a half thousand uh, tenants. So if we talk the about the opportunities uh, during this COVID-19 situation, like there is a huge demand for the uh, access control systems with the temperature measurements, uh, uh, sensors, as well as uh, face ID algorithms, which recognize the, the existence of masks, whether they have it or not. So recently we started to sell these devices and they, they are in demand right now. Uh, financial forecast, like by end of 2021, we are planning to reach uh, over 3000 clients and mostly from Indonesia and Philippines. Additional business opportunities uh, within the ecosystem we are building, considering like uh, our current situation, we have 17,000 employees within our system, which is already a huge uh, ecosystem. We want to start selling the uh, targeted advertisement as well as uh, sell extra third party uh, applications within our ecosystem and also provide the APIs for the third parties. Our team uh, is, is pretty uh, small, like we have 18 employees uh, with, a, uh, with a huge experience in uh, software development mostly. Also we have three advisors uh, from uh, venture investment uh, world, let's say. So they help us to uh, achieve better results in uh, outside markets. Our mission is to develop the knowledge base for the businesses uh, or business owners and staff uh, in small and medium uh, segment, as well as bring corporate uh, business culture to the small businesses, making it affordable. And also like we want to create a huge big data uh, base out of SME segment in the future. So basically that's it. Thank you. Yep, so there we have uh, Clockster. You join with Clockster. So if you have any other further questions about Clockster, just a reminder to feel free to key in the questions into the Q&A widget. So this can happen at any one point in time and we will answer the rest of your questions at the end of the session. Also, feel free to reach out directly to Yejun at the following email address. He'll be more than happy to connect with you. Moving on, our next startup, Smart ECG, so looks to transform the process of ECG interpretation, making it a paperless process. Let's have a closer look at the process flow and how Smart ECG seeks to optimize the interpretation process. So let's hear from Samir from Smart ECG. My name is Timir Galin and I represent Smart ECG, an Uber for ECG interpretation. 
ECG is the most popular tool for cardiovascular diseases diagnostics. COVID today takes all the attention in the world, and rightfully so, but we must not forget about other diseases. And as you can see, heart disease is the no number one cause of death in the world. Physicians in Kazakhstan are not trained to read ECGs, and there is a special kind of doctor for that. Unfortunately, only about 20% of positions for them are covered in rural areas, and up to 70% in the cities. And overall, the process is paper-based, time-consuming, and inefficient. Well, frankly, we don't know the details of the situation in Singapore, but on the surface we see that population is aging fast, hospitals are already crowded, and the demand for medical services is outpacing the supply. So we think that solutions that optimize medical services will be in demand too. We have built a platform where any certified doctor can register and provide ECG interpretation services remotely. We are also vendor neutral, which means that we write drivers for any ECG equipment that we find in clinics. We are focused on streamlining the whole process, so we integrate with existing EHR and health information systems. That way, our potential clients will not bear any initial costs to start using our solution. And it will allow them to increase the number of patients that they can serve with ECG. And it will lead to earlier detection of diseases. And in the long run, it will decrease the cost of medical treatment. For all involved parties, the solution will provide much more transparency and control. Our product has already passed all the tests for information security in Kazakhstan. We support four device manufacturers and our machine learning algorithm recalculates more than 100 parameters. We are integrated with two most popular health information systems in Kazakhstan so that we are able to streamline the whole process and make it absolutely paper-free. Doctors using our platform enhance their efficiency by a factor of three, and clinics don't need additional storage rooms and any costs associated with paper, because everything is in the digital format and in the cloud. Right now, we have 15,000 VCGs in the system, we work with 10 clinics, and our goal is to reach 400 daily ECGs interpreted by the end of the year. Our main priority is to scale on the local market first, which is $3 million, and then to start expanding into other countries. And in the long run, with more data in the system, we want to maximize machine learning accuracy and to become fully AI solution. Our team consists of software and cardiology experts with more than 10 years of average experience, and we think that this is the right kind of mix for this product. Thank you for your attention, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Yeah, so that was Tamir from Smart ECG. I echo the words of Tamir and, and that cardiac related diseases are still as prevalent despite the global focus on the pandemic. So if you are keen to discuss any ideas further or any potential, or discuss any potential solutions of working with Tamir, do reach out to him at the following email address. Next up, we will be hearing from DOS representing Adaptive Plus by Spring Squads. Adaptive Plus is a personalization solution that aims to enhance users' experience, providing them with the customization they need in their mobile banking app. So let's hear more from DOS about his solution. Hi, I'm DOS, co-founder at Sprint Squad, and today I'm going to pitch our product, Adaptive Plus. In the past three years, our life strictly depends on mobile apps. Ten of them are capturing our attention 
every day. But the industry has changed. If 10 years ago, adoption of the website for the users it was okay, but now in 2020s, the pure personalizations are coming. User, users are require more customization for their requests. But the brands are facing the challenges. They use the old technologies and the, even their mobile applications are provide the static content and the marketing they they are they have their general data right now but the personalization requires specific user data and of course speed the brands especially big brands are very slow and responding the customer request and the needs and according to the research less than 5% of the customer data is analyzed on the other hand, the users want to be specific and personal approach and 80% of, the, of them are ready for personalization. That's why we created the Adaptive Plus. It's the pure personalization platform for the native mobile apps. It works very simple. We integrate our SDK on your mobile app and then on the dashboard level at the user level you can do your personalization on the Instagram like stories to banners or or product offers and we do the personalization simple and easy whether you are launching the marketing campaign or congratulations with the independent day or customer care program or trust program or a personalized program and the, we do the everything hustle free everything is possible with our platform our powerful dashboard helps you to do everything is simple and the, every step of your launch of the marketing campaign or personalization campaign all data are stored and shown on you on the beautiful charts with the insights from our site and you can do your personalization as more profound as you wish. You can take one user or 10 users or 100 users or thousands of users and doing the categorization by like devoting the different banners, different content for the different type of the users. And of course, you can do A-B testing with our platform. The moreover, we can we provide you extended the secure protocol where you can work even with your sensitive data. For, the, for instance, you can personalize your uh, content by the average check size or any other um, point that you wish. There are hundreds of opportunities with our platform. You can communicate with your audience, just Instagram-like stories, and you can do Q and A's, quizzes, and the countdowns. On on the and the next quarter, we are providing the video streaming on your mobile app. And the, we have successfully done our POC with the largest bank in Central Asia and signed the long-term contract. It works. It works pretty well. And we want to be the, in the next five years the sophisticated personalization uh, solution where for the different user categories and for the different users are different screens and the skins are shown. For instance, for the 12 years boy, it's the very funny and the toy style. On the other hand, for the 45 years for the businessman, very strict, unique and the luxury interface are provided with our solution. And the, our pricing model is very simple. For the 30 to 40K, we do the personalization happen. In just the 15 days, everything is possible. So thank you for your attention. If you want to, do, to know more about our opportunities, let us know. So thank you for your attention. Take care. Bye. There was DOS with Adaptive Plus, an innovative solution which provides for a personalized banking experience which is of increasing demand these days by consumers all across the world, all across the world. To connect with DOS further after this session for potential opportunities or to inquire more, do reach out for him at the following email address. The next solution we have is Aero Exam by Essential Technologies. So Aero is an effective and simple web-based platform to manage online proctoring of examinations. 
seeking to protect the integrity of certifications, both in the educational sector and business qualifications. Let's hear more about Aero from Myras, founder and CEO of Essential Technologies. Uh, my name is Miras. I am founder and CEO of Essential Technologies, and today I'll be presenting Iro online proctoring solution. Um, and the problem that we have faced and we have seen is that cheating is the biggest problem uh, during the online exams. Uh, the examinees they keep looking from looking up from their notes. Uh, they leave the exam venue. They ask other people to take exam for them, and they even get help from other people. This completely discredits any attempt to assess to, like the examinee's knowledge. Uh, this uh, does not allow companies to understand who of all of these trainees is appropriate fit for this job, or did this guy understand the safety rules? And this might lead to really big accidents. Um, so uh, there are like a lot of studies that show that uh, there, if there is a person just looking at someone taking the exam, it drastically decreases the amount of cheating. Um, so how traditionally companies, people, university schools have been solving it? They were using video conferences. Uh, they were using Zoom, Skype, Google Meet, whatever, to on, like stream in real time how uh, examinees taking the exam. But this approach has one very big flaw is that there is lack of control. Examiner never knows uh, what he's Googling, what he's looking up. He doesn't see his workplace and doesn't even see if he's still attending, if he's not asking other people to take exam for him. And this, again, discredits the, any attempt to assess the knowledge of examining. So to solve that, we have developed IRO, which is the most affordable and easy to use online examination platform. It uses technology, uh, artificial intelligence uh, for Face recognition, it authenticates students to see if that student that should be present during the exam. It checks if student is looking away during the exam, if he's leaving exam venue. Uh, it checks if student is trying to copy the question and paste it. And whenever he tries to paste it, the text mutates and becomes all right reserved by irexam.org. Uh, it also checks if student opened any other tab, uh, Microsoft Word document, presentation, whatever. And it also allows uh, live streaming of how students are taking the exam in real time. Post exam, it gives full exam report with uh, his name, how many uh, points he got on the exam, how many uh, cheatings he had, and the whole uh, recording of the exam with the time codes where he was caught cheating. Uh, right now, it uses uh, it does student notification, does speech recognition, uh, cheating info, and if he's looking away, help from other people browser activity, uh, app activity on the computer, and live streaming of the exam. And this is not all. We will keep adding new features. Uh, we are planning to add more advanced computer vision algorithms so that it will uh, be using computer vision to detect if he had just moved, if he didn't, uh, like not only passively keep checking if he is doing something, but if he did move something or like there was some distortion in the image. And we're planning to add a mobile proctoring to check his working table and, and a lot more. Uh, so, but the problem is that uh, most of the companies have been using Zoom, Skype, and there was a big reason for that. And two biggest reasons were that the proctoring solutions, traditional, were too high. They could cost up to $30 per one exam. And this is very high. And they had very high technical requirements for the PC of the examinee. And this kept uh, not allowing students to take exam, putting some barriers, kicking them out of the exam. Uh, but the IRO, it works with low specification computers and internet. Uh, all the computations are done on our backend, which allows students with uh, low computationally powerful PCs and with slow internet take the exam. And it's the most affordable solution you can take, you can find it starts from zero, uh, 30 um, cents per exam and goes up to $2 per exam. We believe that today, uh, these times are the biggest uh, opportunity for us because almost 90% of students uh, have reported that their school or their workplace was affected by COVID. Uh, almost 87% of teachers uh, report that their computer literacy increased. They are no more familiar with computers. Uh, and we believe there will be growth in uh, online education uh, in both corporate sector and B2B segment and also in uh, B2G.
We have been done no, numerous exams. We've been conducting ENT, which is a graduation exam in Kazakhstan. We were conducting a final exams for two universities and one Olympiad for us. SNA International Finance Center. And we plan to add 10 more clients in the next year. Uh, we have very uh, accurate neural network, which is 99% accurate, uh, more than 99%. We conduct more than 3,700 exams, caught more than 250 students cheating, automated grading, and gained big data set for our neural network improvement. Both me and my co-founder have experienced startups. I have raised more than 100K from my previous startup which became part of another Biof University research innovation system. And my CTO is also a junior researcher at machine learning and big data lab. He was doing face recognition solution for biggest Kazakhstan Kazakhstani construction company. We have a team of four more engineers, uh, two backend, one front end, one computer vision engineer. Very talented guys, some of them being Bloomberg and Facebook. Uh, and this is briefly uh, about essential technologies and IRA exam. If you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer you after the session. Thank you. So thanks, Myras from Aero. So indeed, with the indeed with the COVID nineteen pandemic, a lot of operations have been transformed, including the delivery of education. So online examinations, without a doubt, might see its place as the new norm as online proctoring becomes more and more secure. We discuss any issues or for further clarifications. Do reach out to Myras at the following email address. And likewise, uh, you can type in any questions in the Q&A widget so that they can be answered by the founders themselves later. Moving on to the next startup, we have Segek, smart city solution that leverages on video analytics. Ayan, team member of Segek, will be sharing with us more about Segek, the products, and how the company contributed to the safety of the country with its business operations. Hello everyone, my name is Ayan. Thank you very much for this opportunity to introduce IFCT solution, Sigek, developed by our team and implemented in Kazakhstan in 2017. In my presentation, at first I will introduce our team and Sigek itself. Then you will have positive results achieved through implementation of Sigek in Kazakhstan. And finally, you will be introduced to solutions we have for Southeast Asia. I will do my best to keep it short and sweet. So let's get started. We are the team of talented and innovative IT-minded young people, united under one brand umbrella open technology store. More than 10 years, our group of companies develops software and hardware in the field of telecommunications, telephony, and system integration for private and public sector, IoT, data, and cyber, data science and cyber security and smart city technologies. We are always at the cutting edge of the latest technology, offering own and customized IT solutions to meet public and business real-time demand. Our mission to make life being better and safer, no matter how ambitious and impossible IT solution is required. We prove through our innovations that nothing impossible in this world. Segek is, is the one-stop solution to address modern city challenges, such, such as public safety and security, pollution and urban mobility. Name of the system derives from Kazakh language, meaning sharp eye person. In a sense, Segek is based on computer vision, intellectual, intellectual video analytics system, which include private broadband, fixed overview and road cameras, communication and computer vision model, UPS, mobile police workplace. This, this system is being proved to be harsh weather resistant, easy to install on any existing light poles, energy and cost efficient, either wireless or wire connected to save not cloud-based data processing center which easily can be integrated with existing surveillance camera network. So they play significant role in maintaining high level of public security, reduction of traffic mortality and accident, emergency and road management. As I mentioned earlier, Sergei is used for addressing three modern city challenges, safety, pollution, and urban mobility. To secure public safety, Sergei is used for automated traffic violation detection and enforcement. 
prevention and reduction of crimes in public place, disaster reduction and emergency management, search for stolen vehicles, wanted criminals, missing individuals, route planning for emergency vehicles, collection and storage of digital evidence. For instance, Sergei allows to trace and locate stolen vehicle in real time, automatically recognize false plate number and suspect driving behavior. It detects speeding, occupation of bus lanes, stop and white line, red light crossing. For efficient pandemic control, in addition to existing Sergei network, our company deployed systems on temporary checkpoints around cities and introduce Sergei apps installed on the rugged tablets for police posts. These apps allow to control vehicle and people flow at the time of quarantine, collect migration data. As a result, the public authorities have been able to efficiently and with less paperwork, organize pandemic control at the state of emergency. For the next urban challenge such as pollution, Sergei system includes air quality monitoring device, measuring polluting particles and accessible for everyone online, online data collection platform. Moreover, Sergei can be used for enforcement of low emission zones. This includes monitoring, detection of vehicles not meeting uh, low emission zone standards and online payment system. Such digital approach, I believe, is not implemented yet across the world. For last but not least, city challenge Sergei is used for urban infrastructure and traffic management. Data on traffic and public places load, accidents and criminal offenses, number of vehicles collected through Sergei is used by public administration for city planning, road construction, and improved urban infrastructure. To date, our systems have been deployed in four major cities of Kazakhstan, including capital, and we have pilot project in the capital of Uzbekistan, Tashkent. We are very proud that Sergei played a key role in reduction of traffic mortality, crime rate in public places, number of traffic accidents, and bad driving behavior. Public authorities, as our partners on public-private partnership basis, have been collected more than 20 million years of life. For traffic rules violation. Sergei is highly valued by society for contribution to building safer urban environment. And finally, Sergei is truly an international system which can be customized for any region and used for various tasks like traffic and law enforcement, pandemic control, enforcement of low emission zones, and reduction of car fees. Our team, in addition to Sergei systems, have other IT solutions for smart city. And we are looking forward for mutually beneficial and long-lasting partnership with international counterparts to unlock the beauty of digital world. We are open for various types of cooperation and may offer such options as private-public partnerships, franchise writing, direct sales, white labeling. We are convinced that everyone on this earth deserves a better and safer place to live and enjoy. Let's make it happen together. This is the end of my presentation. Thank you for your attention. Right, thanks, Ayan. And that is Sergei. So it's interesting to see how Sergei is able to utilize its technologies, right? Video analytics and operations, not just to not just in crime prevention, but also extending its coverage to really be a smart city solution when you talk about monitoring gas emissions. It's truly a smart city solution, and we are excited to see what is it, what is it in it for us to get in the future as well. You can reach out to Ayan directly at this email address. Moving on, the next speech will feature a solution by Tinkertech. So their solution will be Tinkerchat. So let's see how Tinkerchat a corporate communication platform aims to streamline business communication. Let's have a closer look at the functionalities of Tinkerchat. Hello everybody, my name is Eugene and I am a representative of Tinker Team. Uh, today I would like to talk about our solution for corporate communication and named Tinkerchat. So, uh, as a team, we met with need for a corporate communication in sufficient way. So, we decided to create our own corporate chat. 
Uh, actually, it's an enterprise chat. It's a convenient solution with functionality, with simplified interface, and ability to integrate with other third-party services. It's a cross-platform solution, which uh, means that we have a mobile application, native desktop apps, and a web client. It's uh, secured. According to all certificates, we have the internal database, we have a TLC encryption, CCL, we have uh, support CBA, that means certificate based on uh, authentication. And uh, some words about functionality. It's a messenger with the public and private channels uh, that could include more than 500 users per time with uh, direct messaging, attaching some media files or different documents, with guest access for collaboration with other companies, with our partners. And according to the current solution of the pandemic, we have the opportunity to have video calls, voice calls, screen sharing, and open API with webhooks for integrations. So, uh, let me talk about some key features. One of that is administration. Tinkerchat lets you granularly control and restrict usage. Uh, you can choose uh, concrete roles with concrete permissions. We have integration with Active Directory for Azure uh, users. We have the like, granular user and admin permission schemes. We have read-only channels and other channel moderation settings at all. We have guest accounts, support uh, hundreds of integrations with popular tools, uh, images, GIFs, markdowns, and something, something like that. So, let's go next. And today I would like to tell you about deployment and scaling, one of the most interesting features. Deployment on any cloud. We have support any hybrid clouds or different uh, data center solutions and something like that. Uh, database ownership. You have retail full control over your company sensitive communications and intellectual property with the third party monitoring. It's a scalable solution that means that we have uh, accessible from the web uh, client or you have uh, can choose uh, native app at all and layered extensibility. It means that you can connect any third party, uh, into any third party solution, service that you use in your company. And DevOps and ChatOps features that combine automatization that uh, could maximize your uptime, reliability, and decrease instant response time and optimize your work at all. And some words about collaboration. That means that all modern user features enterprise messaging. Uh, it's a workspace that needs to increase workplace efficiency and productivity. That means that Tinkerchat can provide you organized conversation in teams and channels. It's fully searchable for messages. It doesn't matter. It uh, will be one by one messaging or just group messages. It supports voice, video, screen sharing features. You can attach files, images, or other different medias. It's multi language support. Now we support in uh, four languages. We have a custom desktop, email, and mobile notifications that will keep you in loop. And we have a do not disturb mode that allow you just to focus on some main ideas and features. And the one of the main feature is our security because we are really interested to save all information, all confidential and all intellectual property inside this app without just going outside. And uh, I would like to say a little bit about our company, uh, Tinker Team. It's a company, it's a Tinker Tech company in Kazakhstan. It's an IT outsource company and we provide full cycle development. It means that we uh, start uh, our new products from the scratch idea to it complete. We can provide corporate innovations. It's mean inclusive solutions for company needs. And uh, one of our services is audit and consulting for our partners and customers. And uh, some of our main competitors, it means that uh, Tinker team have a full cycle product development uh, processes. It uh, have IT audit and consulting, modern stack of development technologies and streamlined processes. Uh, actually, this is the end of my presentation. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Uh, if you have any questions or you have any offers, uh, please text me or call me. Thanks a lot. Bye bye. So there we have uh, Tinkerchat, and as we understand, communications is becoming more and more important, especially with the ongoing situation. And so this is one of the evolving technologies by Tinker team, uh, which is Tinkerchat. Right, as you have also seen, Tinker Tech offers other general solutions, not just specifically to Tinkerchat. So if you are interested to find out more, feel free to directly connect with Eugene via his email as shown in the slides. So now we are last, we are down to our final startup. We have with us Maxim sharing with us Unica, a solution by Repoint.
So Unica is an application that utilizes both hardware and software to measure customer cons consumer satisfaction. This presentation will show us how data points can be collected and analyzed to better understand customer satisfaction. Hi, my name is Aidos. I'm a co-founder of Unica AI. For sure, you know what is Google Analytics, but think of this. Is it possible to track some consumer behavior in an offline store, like you could do it on the websites. So Unica measures consumer behavior in offline stores to improve marketing ROI. We started in 2012 as an IT outsource company. Since then, we worked with multinational corporates in different areas, but mostly in pharmaceutical and retail. So we've gathered a lot of expertise and uh, insights in these uh, industries and we started to develop our own product called Unica. For now we've uh, validated three industries, uh, we've built an MVP, raised some pre-seed money and started pilots with, with two companies. So today 84% of all purchases are made offline. We see the problem in measuring consumer behavior in the offline stores, which affect marketing ROIs. Existing tools are mostly manual, like focus groups, surveys, uh, audit of stores, and promotions. And these tools are exposed to extrapolations, approximations, and the human error. They take a lot of time, effort, and money, so we see them ineffective. Uh, we've built a solution for producers and store owners to measure consumer behavior, demands, marketing effectiveness, and other metrics in offline stores. And we do it thousand times faster and cheaper. We can understand the effectiveness of marketing costs and the possibility of quick adjustments. We can know actual demand and the impact of pharmacists on sales. Unica also can train can provide trainings and testing on pharmacists remotely and conduct operational surveys that are 100 times faster than now. So Unica is a set of hardware and software. Hardware is a device that collects data based on edge computing technology. And software is a web platform where all the data is gathered and analyzed. We install the device that consists of camera, microphones, and microcomputer at the store. Using AI, we gather and process the data at the stores and transfer the results to the web platform. Thus, producers and store owners get the actual data in real time 24 seven. We've developed an MVP and started validating the hypothesis. We've chosen pharmacy, retail is a starting point. Now we are finalizing negotiations with one of the leaders of the pharmacy industry, Sanofi, Santa, and Takeda to start a pilot with. We will test the software as a service business model. Uh, we've already connected two drugstore chains and plan to cover 50% of the main drugstore chains of the country by the end of the year. We gather metrics from 6,000 consumers from one drugstore per month. We've estimated market size of the pharmacy only industry as being 14 billion and overall market opportunity is up to $350 billion. Uh, we have three co-founders, Sergey, Maxim and me, Aidos, and we've built a strong team of professionals that consists of more than 20, 20 people. Uh, as I told before, uh, we have a huge experience working with pharmacy and retail industries. So if you have some questions, please, please feel free to contact us. Thank you. So there we have our last startup, Unica from uh, BioRepoint and the, the founders. So customers are always at the heart of each business and it's also an important process to manage and track as they are your key in every businesses that are running. So as usual, if you have any other opportunities, feel free to reach out to Maxim at the following email address for more clarifications on the solution. So thank you once again to all seven startups for their exciting pitches. And now we'll be moving on to the Q&A segment.
So if there are any other further questions concerning any of the solutions, or if you want to answer any more, uh, understand more about their product offerings and their solutions, here's the opportunity to hear directly from our seven teams. So let's run through the questions quickly, and we shall start with Clockster, right? So the question for Clockster will be, what are your thoughts on the SMB SaaS space in C compared to that in Kazakhstan? Is there enough paying customers at a decent ARPU, AR to grow the business in the region? So this question will be directed to Yejun. So Yejun, would, like, would you like to answer this question? Yes, uh, hi Dustin. Uh, like as I already uh, written in the common chat, like the CEA market is, is way more bigger than the Kazakhstani. And another important thing is that just a second, sorry, I'll just start my video as well. And the important thing to, uh, to understand is that in C, uh, Southeast Asian market, the culture of the consumption of such products uh, is already developed. Like in Kazakhstan, we have to spend a lot of money for the marketing in order to teach our clients to understand uh, what kind of uh, uh, benefits uh, these productivity tools brings to their businesses. In Southeast Asian market, it's uh, it's already there. Like so, it means like less marketing uh, expenses and faster uh, faster on onboarding and deployment in those markets. So yes, like and also answering to the question like whether the the uh, ARPU and uh, ARR ratio is decent. Yes, it is of course decent. Uh, there, the average uh, like ARPU uh, is like let's say almost uh, twice higher than what we charge here in Kazakhstan uh, because uh, companies already understand the businesses and you don't need to uh, like convince them to pay some extra for that. So that's basically the answer. Thank you, Yejun. Next up, uh, let's move on to Smart ECG. So if you have any other questions for Clockster, just feel free to continue to input it and we will get back to it later. So moving on to Smart ECG, uh, Tamir, the question will be directed to you. What type of partners and support are you looking to connect with in C? What's your revenue model? So our guest wants to understand more on that. So Tamir, please. for our revenue model. Uh, Tamir, I think we are facing some audio issues, so perhaps we can get back to you later. Yeah, so uh, do try to resolve the, the mic issue and and we will try to get, we will get back to smart ECG in a bit. So moving on, uh, we have a question for DOS as well, Adaptive Plus. So DOS, how do you overcome the strict regulatory and user data privacy requirements of financial institution when integrating with the system or assessing the user data? And can you share any key results or business impact of your solutions based on your past projects? Yeah, because I guess data security, it's a very, uh, it's, a, it's a huge concern. So we're just trying to understand how, how would the, the model go despite you talking about uh, adding a layer of personalization. Yes, so DOS, please. Jamin, sorry, uh, could you repeat please uh, the question because the connection lost a little bit, if you, may, if you don't mind. Right, so the question will be, how do you overcome the strict regulatory uh, and user data privacy? So it's all about data privacy of your consumers, right? And when you deal with this financial institution and how do you integrate them with the system? Or are you going to assess the user data directly? Or how would uh, basically more in depth, uh, a, a more in depth question of how you will actually manage the data because data security is a very sensitive topic nowadays. 
And also the, the audience is also asking if you have any key results or business impact on your solution based on your past projects. Okay, got it. Sure. Um, so uh, let me start the video. Uh, so the currently, uh, we are already working with the two banks. And um, as you know, the banks is very strict uh, regulation according to the data, data pri privacy. So um, it it's, uh, works very simple. So uh, you have uh, two cases. The first case is uh, we are not uh, initially working with secure data. We're just uh, tracking the events. And according to the events, like Google Analytics works, uh, we are personalizing. And on the other hand, if the, uh, for instance, the, uh, some com kind of company, which is very uh, strictly wants to be more specific on the case of the personalization, on that case, uh, we are uh, developed our protocol. This protocol could be um, could data transfer uh, with the um, unpersonalized. Uh, I mean, the, this is the like hash that data, and uh, this uh, small service it's uh, put on the in, in internal servers of the um, of those uh, enterprises. So the data uh, in the case of the deep integration does not go anywhere. It's the insight. Uh, and the first case, it's the, on the, uh, it's the ghost, but it goes like events. Uh, so the, we do not know even the, about the users. It's just the, you know, um, we have the, our own um, ten hundreds of the data points that we are sending and the user just uh, received is received is uh, it's uh, this uh, data points as the filter so uh, probably that's the question and also um, uh, right now we are deeply working with the gdpr uh, compliance um, so we are sending our initial concept i think in the last in the next uh, two to three months so we would get this certificate Jamin. All right, thank you, DOS, for answering the questions. If there are any further clarifications which you require from DOS, likewise, feel free to add on, add on to the Q&A, and DOS would be more than happy to clarify further. Likewise, yeah, you can sure. also reach uh, out. Yeah. If yeah, someone likewise, is interested, please uh, just uh, email us. We will make the small call, and uh, everything is discussable, and uh, we, can, we are very nimble. So I think uh, we can come up with a solution, of course. Thank you, DOS. Okay, moving on. Next up, we have Aero. So for Aero, we have uh, two questions. So Myra's do, do take note. You can also view the questions in the, the Q&A panel. Right, so first question, I'll ask it one by one as I see a few questions. So you will answer it one by one. So for Aero, firstly, I, the question will be to, is that if your solution can also be used by HR recruiters when administering recruitment tests, and also, uh, what makes your solution better than other alternatives? So, Myras? Okay, maybe Myras is facing some tech issues as well. No worries, we'll move on to Sergeik first. Right, so for Sergeik, the smart city solution. So Sergeik, that likewise, there are two questions directed to Sergeik. So to the Sergeik team, would you like to share a bit more about your pandemic and epidemic control solution? And the question is, do you only work with government agencies based on whatever you have presented? And the second question directed to Sergeik will be, Southeast Asia is actually a fragmented region. So they're just curious uh, which, which region of Southeast Asia are you looking to uh, expand to next and why? <coughs> so these two questions uh, for the Sergeik team, uh, do, do answer these questions. Yes, thank you very much for your questions. Can you hear me well? Yes, you we can hear you. Okay, great. So yes, for first questions, yes, we actually work with public authorities at the, time, at the state of emergency to implement our solution for epidemic control. However, 
we are open for private sectors and our solution can be customized for any market demands. For more information and more detailed information, I can share with you at your request more slides we have for pandemic control. And our solutions at the time of state of emergency proved to be efficient and appreciated by not only public authorities, but also by society. For the second questions, well, actually, that's true. Southeast Asia is fragmented. However, our system is truly international and we are open for the world. And in safe Southeast Asia, our solution can be implemented as it is in any state and may be customized for market demands, like reduction of traffic load, environmental monitoring, and prevention of pollution, urban management, etc. So please feel free to drop us a call and we can discuss any market demands and we are ready to work with you to implement any solutions. Thank you. Thank you, Ayan from SEGEC for extending your opportunities out to our audience. Right, next up we have Tinkerchat. So Tinkerchat, there are likewise there's uh, one question for Tinkerchat. So how is Tinkerchat better than enterprise messaging apps available in the market now? So perhaps asking for some elaborations on how Tinkerchat is going to be positioned in the market. So uh, Eugene from Tinkerchat, would you like to take this question? Yeah, thank you for that question. Uh, actually, we just implement the, all the best practice of enterprise chats on the market, but we have the three main key uh, features. Uh, first one is uh, easy customizable uh, chat, chatting tool, just according to your corporate style. The second one is our safety because it's really safe application and we just uh, strongly suggest our customers and we help them to deploy uh, all the instance of the app on their own uh, clouds or servers that allow just uh, only uh, one access to the all information. And the third one, and but uh, the last but not least, uh, that we just do not provide only the tool. We just provide the, implement, uh, the implementation and integration of this tool in the company ecosystem in it. Uh, that's why three main features that makes us better than other enterprise chats. Thanks a lot for the question. Uh, thanks, Eugene, for highlighting the, the, the features of Totem Chat once again. So any other questions or further clarifications do include them in so that Eugene can, can clarify further. All right. Next up, Unica. So Unica, the pharmacy customer satisfaction solution. So I guess the two questions are rather similar, right? So I'll just direct it to the Unica team here. So given the pandemic situation, pharmacy is definitely an opportunity as we all understand, but retail in general, because of the face-to-face -face distancing measures and, and all the restrictions going on now, it might not be the best market for now. So are there any plans to explore uh, other industry uh, moving ahead for pharmacy or any other areas you wish to add on? Yeah, thank you very much. It's a good question. Uh, thank you. So yeah, uh, as I told before, we started validating three uh, different industries uh, and a part of pharmacy, we've moved to uh, government and to food and beverage, but name it hospitality. Because um, besides the, the fact that uh, we are measuring consumer behavior, we also research that uh, we can be we, we are able to measure the personal behavior. So uh, Unica is a tool can be used for, uh, for uh, to ex examine whether your uh, personal or your staff are compliant, is there any fraud? So it 
can be used as quality assurance and quality control. And now we are moving to, to government here in Kazakhstan and to uh, beverage, uh, food and beverage, uh, especially in restaurants or cafes or the points where um, some stuff is, uh, um, where you can pick up some stuff. So uh, yes, uh, we are researching other industries, especially for quality assurance and quality control. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Idos. Uh, there's actually one more question for you, Nika. So the question is asking if the product is ready for the Southeast Asia region. And do you have any plans for uh, the Southeast Asia region? Yeah, the product is ready to implement uh, wherever it can be or it interested because uh, we've we've made we've built a solution that can be easily installed and we can start gathering the 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 data for it's like like white labeling but uh, specifically it's like uh, customizing for the customers uh, and uh, uh, the second part was yeah the second part was just in fact just asking if you are ready to or if you have any plans to enter this region as of now or as is it uh, further down the road. Ah, yeah, road yeah, we have, we have, we have some plans to to go uh, to this region, especially in the in the as I as I as I've said, the customer assurance, the uh, quality assurance. Yeah. All right. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Idos. So let's 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 go back to back to the. Smart ECG and Aero to check if their internet connection is back up. Right, so for Tamir, let's let's try your mic if it's working fine now. Tamir, are you there? Okay, so I guess Tamir has uh, some audio issues on his end, right? So Tamir, if you are keen to answer that question, so please feel free to elaborate a bit more in the in the chat, right? So feel free to engage with our audience via the chat due to some of the technical issues. Right, back down to our last startup. Our last startup uh, for the day, Aero. So, uh, Myras. Hello, Myras. Okay, I think Myras is so facing some technical issues. But I guess uh, Ping Lim, so Ping Lim has mentioned how to arrange for a pilot with the use for Arrow. So we will be leaving Aero's e we will be giving you uh, Aero's email. So do do reach out to Myra's directly on any uh, potential collaborations on piloting the use of Aero. So thank you very much for that. Uh, before we close the session, I guess just one last question for Tinker Tech. So Eugene, question directed to you: What kind of technical product does your team specialize in? So I guess it's more not just about Tinker Chat now, but in fact, uh, probably you can share a bit more. Uh, probably one one example on your, your team's portfolio and when you design you talk about designing so they're curious about your pricing model so eugene please okay again thank you for your question uh there are different uh, kind of projects actually because it depends from the our clients but mostly we specialize on uh, fintech projects and some iot projects but if you're really interested i could provide you a presentation of our team it's uh, some kind of portfolio that uh, could describe it more clear. I hope uh, that's a good answer for this question. Thanks, Eugene, for taking that question. Likewise, uh, you can reach out directly to, to the audience on, and provide your email address. You can just type, quickly type your email address in the chat so that the audience, whoever that's interested, can also take note of it. 
Right. So I guess there are no other questions. So we have come to the end of our first ever virtual demo day. So if you have any other questions, do feel free to reach out directly to the startups themselves, or otherwise you may reach out to the E27 team at the following addresses. So once again, we would like to give a shout out to all the participating corporates who have joined us in this corporate innovation program. And not only them, our mentors and speakers who have guided the startups as in part of their sharing sessions, we are glad to have these uh, supporting bodies with us and also together with us to ensure the success of this program. Lastly, we'll be happy to connect with you at any one of our platforms as shown. Feel free to reach out to the E27 team, connect with us and share with us. And also, we're happy to have you here today. Thank you for attending this session and we wish you a great weekend ahead. Goodbye for now and all the best.